say, hey, good morning. Well, here's an update on a dirty old bus. You got the front on. So let's step back. That's what the front looks like. Haven't really done much in here. Finished out these furry strips. That's about it. I've taken that window apart and I'm don't know what I'm gonna do there. It's pretty chowdered, but uh, I'll see if I can get it rebuilt. If I can't, I'm gonna have to figure out something else. Let's go to the back of the bus. There's the battery tray. I have the uh, slides soaking in my parts washer. Um, and if I can't get them to operate, oh, I'll have to get new slides. The battery box. Do some welding here. A little bit of rust. Not much. Just between the the uh, the slide and the battery box. But there's a bunch of dirt on top of this thing. Uh, and it, it's welded in. I can't just you know unbolt it what the, this I don't know if I ever mentioned this but this uh, grate here this uh, expanded metal originally was just glued on from the back just glued on and it was the glue had failed and this was all floppy so I welded that back in I did that while back and this uh, cover here this this uh, hinge door to access the the air cleaner and the 12 volt circulation pump uh, it hinges up and uses these little thumb screws <clears throat> with captive nuts but there's no latch to hold it open so you gotta stand here you let it you know balance on your head or you gotta have a third hand here and what I think I'm gonna do with this what I would really like to do is remove these hinges and put hinges on the side so you can fold it out and you don't need any kind of lift mechanism and then there's holes and but I think what I'm gonna doing is is welding in a piece of um, 16 or 18 or 16 or 14 gauge steel and putting a like a handle similar to the battery door that type of latch I took the battery door off because the hinge is chowdered and you can do new piano hinge and yeah new piano hinge I'll talk about that in a minute This piece goes right here, along the bottom, and the, the door shuts against it. Ah. So that's what the back's gonna look like now. I got uh, four lights per side, and these uh, six inch oval, they just pop in. The amber, red, red, and clear. So blinker, brake, and running. Oops, yes. Brake and running. Blinker. Reverse. I'm building a uh, recess license plate pan. And that will have LED lighting as well. He knows the corners are clipped. And what had happened is the breasts got between the skin and this uh, framing material. And uh, it rusted and it expanded. And it was rusted through here. Wasn't quite rusted through on that side, but it was uh, it was puckered, you know. And then you see how thin that is. So I noticed a little bit of uh, like bubbling right there, and I, I I pushed on that, and it just went right through. And then there was another one there. Well, what had happened? I don't know if you can see it. But there's what's left of it. There was like a a fill panel here that blocked off this cavity from because you know, this goes all the way clear up to the top of the bus so there's a little block off plate here and uh, water and 
dirt had collected on that and rusted through there. And then somebody, and this is, you know, this is supposed to be open all the way down the bottom. Somebody shoved a piece of fiberglass in there, and that was like full up to here with dirt. And then that happened. So I had to make a new panel. So I made this piece here out of 14 gauge. Took a while. Well, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. That looks terrible. But, yeah, there you go. You get the idea. You gotta drill some holes for these. And, uh, um, weld some nuts on the back side of it so they're once that piece is on you can't get to it so made some little plugs to uh fill those holes that hole and those two holes in so i just gotta weld all these little holes shut those ones over there the little hammer dolly work smooth things out probably a skim coat of bondu replace this garbage with some new garbage and then the back will be done oh and I still gotta plug those that hole that goes to one of the air conditioners I bought it perfect fit but I still gotta make it go away and those lights gotta come off yet too so. oh let me show you what I picked up last weekend refrigerator and uh I, I probably paid too much for it. I broke a bunch of my own rules when I buy stuff. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of details, but I, I did pay too much for this. But it it does work. It was just missing some key components to make it work. Like the, the regulator. It was missing the regulator. And I found a, a complete regulator and burner on eBay for 40 bucks. So I picked that up. It, and, and then in there is the AC heater this thing this is what um when you plug the thing in and select AC for uh, like you want to hook it up shore power this is the heating element that heats up the the ammonia so this don't work I had this plugged directly in the 110 and it didn't heat up so I need to get a new one 40 bucks for this I, I bought it for 200 bucks so I'll have Less than 300 bucks. You can buy those new for a thousand. Got to get insulation yet. Hopefully, uh, I'll be ordering that this weekend. And I'll be here next week. Got to at least get the floor and the subfloor in. And then I can start laying out the inside. I'll finish this up well over the weekend. And I'll uh, get the back of the bus completely done. Get the wiring back down through the the thing to the to the door and uh, I'll order those lights tomorrow so I think what I'll probably do um, after I get uh, the rest of the exterior of the bus done prior to paint so once the door is on and once that back is finished off I think what I do is I'll take a minute and I'll add up all my receipts and I'll share with you um, what I have into this project so far, including the purchase price of the, of the, of the bus. To this point, everything I'd done would be above and extra uh, to just buying a bus and doing a conversion. I mean, there's plenty of people that have just bought their bus and converted it. Just stripped out the old floor, the old rubber flooring, and started from, from there and built the converted bus. I did a rough raise. There's a lot of extra work involved in that, and uh, and I'm doing a lot of extra, um, you know, body work that, you know, a lot of people don't have to do. But I bought this bus off eBay, sight unseen. Um, I didn't pay a lot of money for it, and you'd be amazed how little I paid for this thing. But that'll be that video. I'll share with you where where I'm at at that point and then we'll, we'll start adding uh, up the cost for actually doing the conversion.
once I start doing the insulation. Another thing that um, I'm going to do is I have this here a generic generator, <coughs> 7,000 water. What I'm going to do is take the wheel kit off and take the gas tank off. I'll probably cut these off, or I might just take the whole thing out of the cage. I have a 20 gallon gasoline fuel cell, aluminum fuel cell. I think I'm going to put this in the basement and I'll use that 20 gallon fuel cell. And then I bought this. This is a just a really inexpensive uh, fuel pump for uh, uh, pumping fuel when, when you have a, you know this kind of setup. The fuel is above the engine, so it's just gravity fed. If your fuel tank's below the engine, below the carburetor, you need a fuel pump. So I bought this just to test my theory, see if it'll work, and then I'll replace this with an actual metal, higher quality. Probably still made in China, but a higher quality metal, pot metal uh, fuel pump. And that's going in the basement with the fuel cell. That's getting repurposed. I can't wait to get that thing out of here. The license plate box needs to fit in here. I need to do a little dressing here and get this thing in here. Right there. I think I'll do that right now. She's a stud gun to weld the stud onto the patch so you can hold it while you tack it in place. <laughs> Sit in there like that. Or something like that. Kind of like that. So until next time, have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep your powder dry, have a splendid day. Bye now.